Hey guys, how you doing? Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. We have yet again another exciting brand coming to Sephora. This is the first black on clean brand at Sephora. Very excited, you guys, for this launch. They already launched on their site on February 16th, but they're coming to Sephora on February 19th, which is today. And we have a primer, foundation, bronzer, setting powder, blushes, and a glossy lip to share with you. So I have a full face of first impressions on this brand, and I cannot wear to share. If this is your first time here, I'm Gigi. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I do hope you subscribe for more beauty content by clicking on the red button that says subscribe, and also come to my Instagram because over there, I keep you posted on new makeup sales, makeup releases, everything like that. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right, friends. So let's begin. And today we're going to be doing a full face of first impressions. I am so excited. This is a new brand that just launched. It is the first black-owned clean beauty at Sephora. Their name is LYS, which means Love Yourself uh, Beauty. And I just love it. This is the founder of them. I've been stacking their Instagram for the longest time ever since I saw this brand you know just popping around I've been so intrigued I love everything about them you guys I love their packaging I love what they stand for as I said they're clean they're vegan cruelty free they have really cool brushes they have a cream blushes with it totally my thin and every single of the products I was super intrigued so I was going to purchase one of each to do my review but they kindly sent me a few products to try I am so grateful but this in no shape or form is going to change what I feel on the product. So it doesn't matter that a brand sends me the products. I'm just going to be, you know, completely honest with you and upfront. So I'm going to show you what they sent. So super generous. They sent me a full bag of goodies. Oh my God, you guys. Thank you, you guys, because truly without you and your support, brands wouldn't be, you know, looking at me and reaching out. And I am so excited to continue to just like, give you my honest, you know, opinions. I do know that the brands do appreciate when we give honest reviews because it helps them, you know, better uh, their services and in general, just their products. So they were super, super generous. They sent me two of their foundations. I'm going to be doing swatches. I wore today a total make because they sent me their products in um, tan range and these are going to be just a smidge too dark for me. I'm usually medium tan. They sent me two of their blushes and this is their packaging is so cute and slick. Then they have a glossy tint. They sent me their translucent setting powder and they sent me their matte bronzer. So as I said, super, super generous from them. Oh, and lastly but not least, they sent me their primer. Look at the packaging of these products, you guys. Look at this. It is so, so, so cute, you guys. This is a very affordable as well. So I, I'm just so into them. I'm not even kidding. So a gripping serum primer that is gonna balance the look of skin, minimizes the look of enlarged pores, and brightens the look of hyperpigmentation. It is meant for all skin types. Um, the concerns are oiliness, pores, and uneven stone. So the primer was one of the products that I was like, I need this primer in my life. This has vitamin C, as I mentioned, it has niacinamide. It's going to help, you know, um, sebum production with the niacinamide and the vitamin C is going to target dark spots on your face. Like, this is everything. As I apply it, it feels very hydrating. It's like I'm applying a serum, just a hydrating moisturizer kind of product. So this is the primer. It had about two to three minutes to set. I don't feel any stickiness at all. I thought it was gonna be one of those gripping primers, but it isn't. I just feel a little bit of tightening on my skin um, after I applied it, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, it just took away a little of the, sh of the shine that I had from my moisturizer this morning. Uh, but yeah, let's move on onto the foundation. As I said, these are going to be too dark for me. Both are. They sent me TN3 and they sent me TG1. So let me swatch them for you. So this one is the lightest, which is the one that I'm going to be wearing, a TG1. So it is um, tan with golden undertones. 
and then they sent me this one which is T and 3 so 10 neutral um, 3 so I am going to be using only that one hopefully we can make it work with some concealer the foundation is called triple fix serum foundation it retails for 28 Canadian dollars and it's a luxurious clean skincare infused serum foundation with buildable light to medium coverage in an array of shades the coverage is medium the finish is natural and the formulation is liquid it has Indian ginseng which is a powerful herb that combats skin stress and basically signs of aging it has turmeric which is going to provide antioxidant protection and visibly brightens evens and soothes the skin and hyaluronic acid which is going to be very intense on hydration this formula will satisfy your skincare and foundation fix at the same time so this is one light coat of the foundation you can totally see how that really evened out everything and gave me a really nice and dewy appearance I really like it I feel like I could just do a tiny bit more over there just do spot conceal and that's the finish I think it's beautiful so actually the shade is not too bad it's going to be perfect when I get a little bit of sun So this is it without any powder. You can see that it has a beautiful, you know, medium coverage. It has a little bit of luminosity. I really like the finish of this foundation. So they don't have a concealer. I am going to just apply some concealer and I'll be right back to set with their translucent powder. Triple Fix Setting Powder. It retails for 24 Canadian dollars and I got the shade Resilience, which is a translucent for fur to medium dark skin tones. A translucent press setting powder that blurs the skin and locks complexion products in place while absorbing excess oil for a natural matte finish. The ingredients are niacinamide, which is going to reduce the appearance of pores and it's going to address excess shine. It has green tree extract, which is going to provide antioxidant benefits and it's going to soothe and replenish the skin. And it has sodium hyaluronate, which is going to retain skin moisture and visibly plumps fine lines. This clean, top-free, finely melt pressed setting powder buffs beautifully into the skin and it blurs unlocks makeup in place for all day perfection with no white cap. And I feel like this powder really, really smooths everything out. It really blurs the pores and some of the texture that I have over here. This is looking really nice. Ooh, I am excited about this powder. So I used it everywhere to set all over because it is translucent. I think this color is perfect. Any help lighten a little bit that foundation out? The, the packaging is just so cute and portable. I am uh, loving everything that I've tried so far. This is so exciting. Next up, we're going to bronze. So we have the bronzer. No Limits Matte Bronzer retails for $24. And I got the shade Courage, which is the tan uh, bronzer. It's a clean, a talc-free, buildable matte bronzer that sculpts, defines, and livens up the complexion with a silky smooth formula. The ingredients on these bronzer are very similar to the setting powders. So you do still get the niacinamide, the green tea, um, and the sodium hyaluronate which is going to keep the moisture on your complexion so i am going to go ahead and use a big bronzer brush like this by refer and we're just gonna bronze our complexion I'm gonna change my brushes because I want something more precise like this. Perfect. And this is very buildable. It has a ton of pigment. And this color is beautiful. It's not too deep, it's not too red. I think it's going to be beautiful for the powder. It's just so, so finely melt. We'll do some swatches in a minute. And I am looking very bronzy. I went to town with it because I was so excited. But this is cute. Love 
love the color of this bronzer. It gave me life in just seconds. So let's try it out, the cream blushes. Higher standard satin matte cream blush. It retails for 22 and it's a clean, high pigment, non-greasy satin matte blush with a buildable creamy formula that gives the skin a natural flush. The ingredients are kaolin clay, which is gonna reduce the appearance of pores and gonna limit excess shine. It also has avocado oil, which is gonna penetrate skin to lock in lasting hydration. And it also has vitamin C, which is gonna calm and soothe the skin. And you guys, you better believe I had the products already saved into my loved list because I already knew exactly what I wanted to get from the brand. And one of the blushes that I wanted was uh, the one that you just saw in the shade Kindness, which is a soft peachy nude. And this is my color. This is just right up my alley, but they were so, so sweet. And they also sent me Confident, which is a very neutral and beautiful shade. Oh my God, you guys, I feel so so extremely lucky and excited i cannot wait to wear this makeup and then update you in my description box but i am going to go ahead and take this brush by sonia g which is um anti-hair brush and i am going to apply this one on this side of my cheek so that you can see how they both look And these are them. I feel like they're both are very precious. I'm loving this one much more. That went on very even and sim. You can always set them if you want them to, you know, just last a little bit longer and then apply some highlighter. I believe they don't have any highlighters on their, on their side. And I might have gone too much on the blush, but now it looks much better. Last but so. not least, they sent me one of their lip Glossy Lip Treatment Oil. Um, so let's try this out. Fig Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oil. Retails for $16 and it is a nourishing, clean lip treatment oil packed with soothing hydrators and natural oils for a high shine finish and long lasting course comfort it has sunflower cold pressed chia seed oil and it has vitamin and this one is i guess for before you start your makeup i should have started off with this one mm. and this is one of those really thick and hydrating lip products very silky very cushiony this is nice. So I am going to go ahead and just do a little bit um, of some, something on my eyes and then I'll be right back. Okay friends, and I'm back and I just did something very simple to my eyes. I just throw on some a brown, you know, shadow and mascara. All right, friends, so after trying every single of these products, I have to say that I am very, very impressed. Very impressed. I loved every single one of them. I love the setting powder. I love the, the foundation. I love the blushes. I love the bronzer. I love the primer. The only thing that I'm going to point out and I'm going to contact the brand and ask them is the primer made me feel a little bit of a tingle. And I think it may be the niacinamide in there that is uh, maybe a bit too strong, but it was not like a huge tingle. It was a little bit of a tingly sensation and then just like a tiny sensation. But after I applied that serum primer, which is so nice, you guys, it really feels hydrating. And just a serum foundation kind of product, it was a beautiful. It really evened my complexion. It went on light butter. It's so, so beautiful, not patchy whatsoever. I really love the application of this foundation. If you don't usually 
initially set your base then you're gonna end up with a very very glossy like finish but I love to set my base it doesn't matter what kind of foundation so for me this was perfection I love my medium coverage foundations that look natural this is all me in a bottle I am excited I love the ingredients that these products have I love the vitamin C and the primer I love the niacinamide on the blushes I've never heard of a powder that has niacinamide and at the same time it has green tea extracts that's going to have a ton of antioxidants and it's going to you know get rid of um, toxin on your skin and then at the same time having something to help control the oil and the shine with the niacinamide I think they're genius i love their packaging i have to say that this is beautiful it is beautiful how they have the matte packaging and then the glossy one so you can tell a product apart uh, you know you can lay these on your vanity it's so so nice they're not gonna take up a ton of space and they're very affordable i am in awe i am very very excited to continue to play with these i really like also the lip balm i feel like it's really cushiony it was very hydrating it's perfect for before you start doing your whole makeup i left it on and only put a little bit of um this shade by shantakai in the shade acacia this is very very light coverage so i just dabbed a little bit like that and that's all that's on my lip and i feel like they just they just feel and look really nourished and a little bit plumped so i really liked these for prepping for my makeup application i really enjoyed the setting powder a lot i felt like it made a huge difference when you could see you know side by side uh this just looked very smooth and perfected and this side was just like you know with some texture you could see some pores and everything and so that powder was very nice and if it's going to you know just control oils and just keep me perfected for the whole day I'm here for it now let's talk about the blushes the cream blushes were also really nice I loved this one the most which is in the shade kindness because this was the one that I really had my eyes on um, and so this is gonna be your soft corally peachy shade I think it applied beautiful it didn't lift my foundation underneath it just applied very nice even though I had set my face as you saw and I applied this at top I didn't feel like it really you know disturb my makeup underneath and it looks pretty and then this color um the shade confident it is pretty this is your neutral everyday no-brainer kind of shade and I think it's stunning as well the blushes are meant to be satin matte so you're not really gonna get a ton of glow this glow was a little bit of highlighter that I applied just at top here so we can get you know some life back into our cheeks um I am waiting for a highlighter from them already in a mascara I do want to try it a clean mascara let me know if you have a fave that doesn't give you raccoon eyes because that's a big problem of um, mine and if you didn't know this about me I I'm a registered nurse and I am obsessed with um, ingredients so I love the ingredients that they're putting into these products I love to know that I am applying safe products to my complexion I am really thinking about you know things that I buy and I don't know this clean makeup coming to Sephora it's really got me thinking you know um, so we're not really congesting our pores or just putting junk on our face truly you guys because actually in my day-to-day -day life I am very conscious about that I am I, I eat all organic I eat clean as much as I can here and my little ones are the same I try to be very strict to what I feed them so why not you know why not bring the cleanness to our makeup as well so I am I am thinking about these things you guys I don't know but this brand is really inspiring me it, it, they're really doing something that's it for now friends i thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments have you tried this brand are you thinking about trying any of these clean beauty brands at sephora i am very intrigued to know all your thoughts i know i've been reviewing a ton um lately so i would love to know your thoughts just drop them below thanks so much you guys for your love and support don't forget to share like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time bye